Well, good evening, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we have a beer that I picked, well, I didn't pick up, I bought on the mail service, the uh, ship to your home service from the brewery. This is from Collective Arts. This is their Imperial IPA at 8.5% alcohol by volume. Now, I'm really excited about this because Ryan makes some Imperial IPAs I love. Like Immodest, one of my favorite double IPAs in available in Ontario. Um, <laughs> Collective Hearts Brewing, Hamilton, Ontario. Limited release. That's about all that's really on here that's worth talking about. It's a uh, can wrap. I don't see the crown up here, so I don't think it's crown holdings. If anyone cares about that still. Date on the bottom says that this was canned in November of 2016, so December, January, it's it's about three months old. Uh, probably a little under. Let's do this. Nice haze on that, nice brass color, nice slightly brown head, like that mocha-like head, big bubbly, nice snap crackle pop, this is a nice looking beer, it is a nice looking beer, visually, I find it appealing, scent wise, first the can, now this might be a thing on how old it is, but uh, it's not smelling like a modest to me. It's not smelling like a double IPA that I'm going to love, to be honest with you. It has that, out of the can, it has that slightly syrupiness that a lot of American IPAs come out with. Not, not say, like, Vermont or New England IPAs, but a lot of, like, the, uh, just the other American IPAs. That, that syrupy, sweet, kind of resiny scent. I'm getting that, as well as a slight bit of... Uh, Slight bit of fruit. So, I mean, the hops may have faded a little bit, but it's not quite three months old. If, if hops can't hold up that long, it comes down to the question of what good is it? Um, and I know there are a, a lot of my favorite hops are hops that start fading in flavor within, within two, to, two to six weeks. And that's what I like to drink my IPAs in usually is in the two to... Two, two to eight weeks old is what I want normally. Um, I did get this about three weeks ago, so I could have had it closer to that that age category. I just didn't get to it because it's 8.5% alcohol, which isn't a lot. But when you do all your reviews on your own now, because nobody wants to come out to your house and drink some beer with you and talk about it, it comes down to the fact that uh, it's just hard to do the higher ABV beers. Uh, out of the glass. Out of the glass. Actually, out of the glass it smells the exact same, except the fruitiness is coming off more as orange and can be identified. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. Nice maltiness at the forefront. Fades right away into the hops hops I get some nice orange flavors orange and grapefruit that then fade into a, a resiny syrupy bitterness and an alcohol warmth there is an alcohol warmth in the throat the syrupiness fairly sweet fairly syrupy then the resiny bitterness it's it bitter it's just not overly bitter I mean I'm picking up the orange more than the overly bitter part but the overly bitter part is Sorry, I pick up the orange more than I pick up the resiny bitter, but the resiny bitter lasts a lot longer. It's still on the palate right now. The warmth is still there too, right in the throat. Um,
for me, is this Ryan's best double IPA? No, it's it's to me it's not it's not on par with Headstock or with Immodest, personally. That being said, do I find this to be a bad beer? No, I, I it was what almost it was I think five bucks a can, four ninety five something like that. I find it for the price to be something I probably won't buy again, but beer wise, it's perfectly fine. It it's a little hot. I didn't expect that. Uh, he usually hides his alcohol so much better. But other than that, there's nothing really wrong with this beer. Uh, out of 10 on it, I'd probably give it a straight 7. It's just not really for me. Uh, nothing wrong with it, just not really for me. And that's where we're going to be. I, I, I've only taken 2 or 3 sips out of it, but that's all I really needed to know how I feel. Uh, I'll drink the rest of this while I play Battlefield 1 with the guys. I'm going to go start that now. Bye, everybody.